Tucked Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Alaskan Pilot. As our story opens, we find Clutch and Company on their way to the frozen north. Cold country here in Alaska, Spinner. I'm sure glad we got warm clothes, Clutch. And Powerfoot likes his wool sweater, too. Are we almost there, Clutch? Almost, Spinner. The village is just ahead. Oh, boy. It looks like a Christmas card. Fasten your seatbelt. We're coming in. Smith is to meet us here. Somebody's standing there on the runway, Clutch. That must be our man. Let's taxi over there. All out. You sure made a fast trip. Welcome to Walrus Cove. Thank you. I take it you're Walrus Smith, the man who sent for us. Right you are. And I'd know you anywhere, Clutch Cargo, from the picture in your adventure book. You too, Spinner and Paddlefoot. You make quite a team. What's the big problem, Mr. Smith? Just call me Walrus. Let's go over to the general store and I'll fill you in. Meanwhile, lurking in the shadows, watching Clutch and Company, we find Gumboot Hogan and Moose Nose Mac, the two nastiest connivers in the North Country. Looks like we got more worries. They're the ones Walrus called to find Klondike and Sourdough. Yeah, we gotta get rid of them. We can't afford to have them helping Klondike and Sourdough. Let's get the snow buggy and head north. For years, I've been grub-sticking Klondike, Ike, and Sourdough Mike. They always come in once a year for supplies. This year, they didn't show up. And frankly, I'm worried. I know what you mean. No one could survive a winter in this country without provisions. Do you have any idea where they might be? Yes, the way I get it, I can Mike discovered gold a ways back in the wilderness. Is there a landing strip anywhere near their mine? No, but I think there's a small clearing near their cabin. But nobody's ever landed a plane there before. Maybe we can. At least we'll try. Clutch Cargo and Company start on their journey over the wilderness in search of Klondike Ike and Sourdough Mike, the two lost prospectors. Golly, Clutch! Look what we're flying over! It's the Smoky Valley Mr. Walrus told us about. Well, at least we know we're on the right track. What causes that smoke, Clutch? A big forest fire? Oh, no. That smoke is caused by volcanic fissures or holes in the bottom of the valley floor. That so-called smoke, you see, is really hot sand that comes up in puffs. Golly, that'd burn you, wouldn't it? It'd make you a real hot dog, Paddlefoot. Wow! Wow! Well, I wouldn't particularly like to land there. But I think we'd better get a closer look in case Ike and Mike are down there. Clutch! You're getting awful close. It's the only way we can see. I can't see a thing. Oh, no! A mountain! We're gonna hit! <laughs> what can possibly stop Clutch and company from hitting that mountain? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Crunch Cargo. Crunch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Alaskan Pilot. You remember last time, Clutch and company arrived at Walrus Cove, where Walrus Smith told them about Klondike Ike and Sourdough Mike. They hadn't returned for supplies as they always had. Two characters, Gumboot and Moose Nose, watched Clutch's every move. Later... Oh, no! A mountain! We're gonna hit! We're in the Wow! We made it! The hot air rising from the valley helped to lift us over. That valley's the last place I want to land a plane in. You said it, Spinner. There goes Cargo and his friends. We better hurry. 
They'll beat us to Klondike and Sourdough's place. We'll find a way to get them, and when they least expect it. Let's go. There are those Twin Peaks Mr. Wallace told us about. So they are. Klondike and Sourdough's cabin should be right at the base of the South Peak. There it is, Clutch. I see the cabin. There's the clearing in front of the cabin. If I come in slow, I can set her down there. Easy does it. Relax, Spinner. We're here. I wonder if anybody's home. Somebody must be here. There's smoke coming out of the chimney. Listen. Don't you touch that or I'll pour this hot coffee right on your head. Sure, and it's too bad I haven't got the piece of the Blarney Stone right here. I'd hit you with it. Hello in there. Anybody home? <coughs> oh, and Tarnation is making all the commotion out there. Put that thing down. We're friends set here by Walrus Smith to find you. Why didn't you say so? Golly, mister, we didn't have a chance. Eh? Why, why who are you? I'm Spinner, and these are my pals, Clutch Cargo and Paddlefoot. Clutch Cargo. We've heard of you. We've read your adventure logbook. Come in. Thanks, fellas. Don't mind if we do. Sure nice and warm in here. But what's that line for? Everything on that side of the line is Mike's. And everything on that side of the line is Ike's. Gee, that's a funny way to live. Not so funny. Sour don't edge me clear out of the cabin if I didn't watch him. Why, you old skin print. What about you trying to take off with the last bean in the pot? It was on my side of the pot. If you hadn't dumped our barrel of beans in the stream, we'd be panning for gold instead of for beans. I didn't dump the beans in the stream. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. You did. I didn't. Cut her out, you two, and tell us what this is all about. He's been doing the darndest things. He fed all of our hard tack to the squirrels and dumped our barrel of beans in the stream. I did. You did, you old geezer. Now, why would I do a thing like that? To starve me to death, that's why. Then you would get all the gold. Starve you? Why, you old fool, I'd starve myself to death, too. And you're just ornery enough to do it. Well, I've got good news for you. We brought your supplies and food for the winter. Gee, I'd sure like to see how you pan for gold. Uh, beans. Well, come out to the diggings and we'll show you. There's Cargo's plane in the clearing. He probably brought the old coot supplies. When we dumped their food, I thought they'd have to leave. How are you going to get them off the land now? We'll just jump their claim. I've got a plan. What nasty plan does Gumboot have to stop them? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Alaskan Pilot. You remember last time, Clutch and Company started in search of Klondike and Sourdough. After almost crashing into a mountain, they headed on. As they landed, a violent argument between Mike and Mike was in progress. Moose Nose and Gumboot arrived on the scene. How are we going to get them off the land now? We'll just jump their claim. We do our mining with this sluice box, Spinner. How's it work? Give me that shovel, sourdough, and I'll show him. Sure, I'll give it to you. But it'll cost you five beans. Why, you old bandit? I only charged you four beans to use my pickaxe. You charged me ten beans to use your can opener. I didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Cut it out, you two. We brought you enough beans to last you all winter. It ain't the beans we're arguing about. It's the principle of the thing. Quiet, you old hoot owl. What do you know about principles? Those two old coots are still fighting. Fine. The more noise they make, the less apt they are to notice us. How much gold do you get out of these diggings? We struck it rich. We're getting three ounces to the shovel full. Yeah, but the beans are sure dropping off. We're only getting two or three to the shovel bowl. Speaking of beans, let's get back and unload those supplies. I'm hungry. They're leaving. Now's our chance. We'll go down and drive our claim stakes, then head for the land office. It looks like Walrus Smith sent you enough grub to last you through two winters. Yeah, but sourdough stacked all the canned goods on his side of the room. You bet I did. 
and it's going to cost you two ounces of gold for every can I give you. You forgot. I got the can opener, and it'll cost you four ounces of gold every time you use it. I won't pay it. You won't eat. I will. You won't. I will. You won't. Will. Won't. Will. Won't. Hold on, you two. I'll divide everything up. Wait a minute. Cargo's plane. Yeah, if they discover our claim stakes, they could fly to the land office ahead of us. Right. You sneak over there and drain his gas tank. Leave just enough gas to get a good start. There. Everything is all divided 50-50. There's no cause for further argument. Yeah, but Klondike still got the only can opener. And it's still going to cost you plenty to use it. You'll forget I own the flapjack flipper. Wait till you want to use that. You boys can settle that between you. You've got all winter to argue about it. The first blizzard's about due, too. I can feel it in my bones. Listen, a motor. It's a snow buggy with two men in it. Why, that's Moose Nose Mac and Gumboot Hogan. They're the orneriest claim jumpers in the whole North Country. I'll bet they've staked out our diggings. Let's go down and see. As soon as we get our prior claim located at the land office, we'll come back and throw them off legal light. They've replaced your claim marker with their own. It says, this here gold belongs to Gumboot and Moose Nose. Ha, ha, ha. Didn't you fellas ever register your claim at the land office? Heck no. Too far to go. We couldn't spare the time. Spinner and I'll fly back and register it for you. We can beat those crooks at their own game. Okay, Clutch, but you'd better get going. That storm's gonna break any minute. We gotta keep ahead of that storm. I'd sure hate to be caught in a blizzard way out here. Gas. Out of gas and a bad storm approaching. What will happen? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Alaskan Pilot. You remember last time, Clutch and Company reached Klondike Ike and Sourdough Mike only to find them in a violent argument. Then Clutch and Company decide to fly to the claims office and stake a claim before Gumboot and Moose Nose. They start out. What's wrong, Clutch? We're out of gas. Those crooks must have drained our tanks. Oh, no! We're right over the valley of 10,000 smokes. I hope we can find that updraft. Watch! Look! We're starting to rise! We're in luck. We've hit the updraft. I think we can make it over the ridge. Look, Clutch, it's starting to snow. Do you see any place where we can set her down, Spinner? Nothing but trees and a little river. A river? It's bound to be frozen over. We'll land there. We'll never get to the claim office before those crooks. This river runs right through the town. Did you bring our ice skates with you, Spinner? Yeah, Clutch, in the back. But we can't skate that far. No, but we can sail. We have wood from the trees, ice skates, and a tarp. Put them all together, and you have an ice boat. Oh, boy! Let's get to work. Again, the snow's getting deeper. Get out and put the front skis on. It looks like winter's here to stay. Pretty sneaky the way we fix Clutch Cargo's plane, eh, Gumboot? Yeah. We won't have to worry about those meddlers upsetting our plans. We can take it easy from here on. Boy, that's keen. 
in clutch? She's all rigged and ready to sail, Spinner. Let's go. We're set, Clutch. Okay. Here goes. Wee! Look at this thing go! At this speed, we should beat those crooks to the claim office. As the ice boat carrying Clutch and Company steadily picks up speed, not much farther ahead are Dead Man's Rapids, a dangerous, unfrozen, deep stretch of river. <laughs> this is more fun than ice skating. <laughs> We're really moving. Must be going 50 miles an hour. Oh, no, that roar. Must be a waterfall. How do you stop an ice boat? With a brake. Only we don't have one. Sounds like open water, rushing over huge boulders. They're headed right for the dangerous rapids. Will they get through? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot. In another exciting adventure, the Alaskan pilot. You remember last time, Clutch and company were forced down in a blinding storm. Determined to beat Moose Nose and Gumboot to the claims office, they build a crude ice boat and start downriver toward Walrus Cove. How do you stop an ice boat? With a break, only we don't have one. Sounds like open water, rushing over huge boulders. We're going up over the riverbank. We did it! Should be easy sailing from here on. Not far to go now. A few minutes and we'll have our claim filed, Moose Nose. Look, Clutch, we're almost there. There's Walrus Smith's store. Drop the sail and we'll coast in. Boy! That was quite a ride. Come on, gang. Let's go over to the general store. Boy, am I glad to see you. I was worried. So are we at times. Where can we file a claim for Klondike and Sourdough? Right here. I'm the storekeeper, the mayor, the postmaster, and the land agent. Come on in the store. There's a the village just ahead. We made pretty good time. Pull up in front of the general store. We'll go in and file our claim. So Moose Nose and Gumboot are up to their old tricks again, huh? Shh. They're coming in. We want to file up. Why, ow! Clutch cargo. Le let's get out of here. Clutch! They're getting away. After them, then. Quick, Walrus. Do you have a snow car? Sure do, Clutch. And it'll outrun that rig any day. Let's go. Clutch and his friends are soon underway. Their tracks are clear enough. We can't lose them. Uh, oh, they're coming after us in old Walrus snow sled. I'll stick to the steep slopes. We can outrun them that way. Hour after hour, the chase continues over the mountains. Finally, they hit the downgrade, leading to the old prospector's diggings. I know a way to stop them. Hand me that rifle spinner. Bullet would just bounce off on that tractor of theirs. I don't intend to shoot at them. Watch this. Quit shooting, Clutch. The snow buried them. What in tarnation is going on out there? We just trapped those two claim jumpers. Bring us a shovel, will you? As sheriff in these parts, I'll take them in and see they won't be around to bother you two for a long time. Thanks, Walrus. And since we've struck pay dirt, I better remind you you're in for a fair share. Yeah, for grub stickiness, I figure you're due a third interest in our diggings. Well, that reminds me. I registered your claim, and here's the deed, Klondike. No, hold on there, Klondike. I'll keep that deed. Oh, no, you won't. I got it, and it's mine. Taint neither. Tis too. Taint. Tis. Taint. Tis. Taint. Tis. Hold it, you two. Why don't you tear it in two pieces and each of you keep half? 
good idea, Clutch Boy. It's a wonder I didn't think of it myself. Those two coots couldn't get along if they didn't argue all the time. They've been at it for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the Alaskan pilot. Be sure to tune in for another exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.